Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating it's Thursday, January 11th, 2018. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as they are already living by the Search for Truth rules given to the Search for Truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And we would request that you all look up, look up to the wiser minds above all of us and have your arguments with them, not with the channel. And as long as these souls are already contributing more to completing the Search for Truth assignments given to the Search for Truth community by wiser minds above all of us, then they are taking or using or borrowing and Search for Truth resources. As always, our foundational intentions remain to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions in order to create worlds that work in all dimensions for all categories of sentience. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Let's just pump up dead children who really want to get to God from wherever Pan is working. <coughs> all the way up through these host lives, <laughs> up the ancient interdimensional highway, and up through the channels and out the channels of the contaminated zone, the presence that is the contaminated zone. <coughs> and as we're pumping out the dead children out the tops of the channels of the contaminated zone, to ask out those channel tops, what now? for us the collective of the contaminated zone to live our collective soul plan what now I hear crashing but I also see people taking down tables but now it looks like the wall of the room is shaking or caving in kind of like in an earthquake zone that's true They're taking down tables these might have been the people who were saying don't do that please don't do that give us more time to resolve it give us another chance yes that's true please don't ask out the tops of these channels what now for us the collective of the contaminated zone to live our collective soul plan we that's what the situation calls for. And there's that other group who's wondering if it hurts to be as stupid as these host lives are. Yes, I see that other group. Yeah, they're saying, does it hurt to be that stupid? Not directly, but it definitely hurts indirectly. Why That's do you true. ask? They're not asking in a mean way. No, they really want to know. They're concerned. If yes, they're concerned, I feel concerned for well being. Yeah. It has taken so long to come to a conclusion that they thought was blatantly obvious three years ago. Yes, that's true. Uh, we understand it does make us look, as a collective, really dumb. We that's do. true. We get it. Now let's aim up through the channels of the top of the contaminated zone, having the intention to aim out the channels for the contaminated zone as a presence and ask, what now? What now for us, the collective of this contaminated zone, to live our collective soul plan? This guy is sitting in doctor's offices. Yes, that's true. They're telling him nonsense. Yeah. Whatever they're saying, that's not true. Friend, whatever they're saying is nonsense and you look you look stupid for listening to them. But it's not true. Just zap electrons up through his channels. He's a fat man. Yes, he's very fat. Friend, what, what we need to do as a collective, we need to exercise. Walk out of that office. Get some water. Let's start drinking water and exercising. You're dehydrated and fat. Let's drink more water. Eat some carrots and exercise. Come on, let's just go for a walk. I think he's wanting the doctors to make his problems go away. Yeah. Somehow magically, even though he's really fat. Yeah. He doesn't exercise. He's dehydrated, perennially dehydrated. Yes. And he's not even eating 
raw vegetables. Friend, how do you expect to be healthy? That that's you're having a disconnect from reality. That's true. But now for us the, the collective, collective of the, the contaminated, contaminated zone. zone to live our collective soul plan. Oh, I think he's on meds. So many meds. Yeah, they're addling your mind, friend. This isn't good. They're addling the mind of so many dimensions and so many worlds within worlds. That's true. This is a bad idea. Stop worshipping at the altar of Western medicine. It's a false god. It sounds like he's saying, but everybody does this. Everybody goes to the doctor a lot. That, I sh I'm sure that's true. I believe that to be true. How healthy is your society? It just got really quiet. It got really quiet. I don't think it's a very healthy society. No, I, I don't. So all of that going to the doctor isn't really helping, is it? It's just a waste of time and money. And it's making... It might be solving one problem, but it's definitely creating others. That's true. But now, for us, the collective of this contaminated zone, to live our collective soul plans. What now? See if we can reach higher, to a higher caliber of advisors. What now? For us, the collective of this contaminated zone. How did he get contaminated? Some voices are asking. How did he get contaminated? If you feel the toxins, maybe from what he's eating, maybe toxic food, maybe from what he's breathing, maybe polluted air. Maybe. Maybe he's contaminated by not wanting to know what's really going on. Maybe denying reality. Maybe. That's true. That's often how it starts. It's a combination of denying inconvenient reality and ingratitude. That's, that's where this, whoever's speaking, this soul is putting his or her chips, big pile of bat, yes. on the combination of denying inconvenient reality and ingratitude. Why do you ask? It feels like curiosity, wanting to know how did this happen? Yes. That's true. Underneath that curiosity, there's also kind of this feeling that they're hoping we're going to say something that Underneath that curiosity, there's also kind of this feeling that they're hoping we're going to say something that they can't possibly be doing, or they can't possibly have, so then they will feel calmer that they can't possibly be contaminated. We understand that feeling really well, and somebody's asking, what do we know? And the spotlight is showing how it was when the contaminated zone began to come up from the depths and pass through ground zero, the dimension of ground zero, and all the dimensions up above, the maybe 70 or so dimensions that the collective that operated out of this host life were used to traveling through. Yes. There was familiarity, very easy familiarity, with at least 70 and maybe 80 or so dimensions. 80 feels like too big a number and 70 feels perfectly comfortable, so it's somewhere in between. That's true. Very used to traversing those dimensions, knew where the stairwells were and the elevators and what the rooms were used for and yes. where the farms were and where the offices were, etc. And even where the presences lived, the various presences. That's true. And what we noticed is that as we were beginning to realize, wait a minute, this is contamination, and we started attempting to operate as an early warning system, beaming up into the higher dimensions. The contamination is coming, the tsunami is coming, it's poison. 
get out, run up, go up, go up, evacuate, quick, 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 quick. And they would often say, now, hold on, hold on, let's just be calm and figure out what's going on. And then whoosh, the tsunami of toxicity would overtake them and they would no longer be able to tell what was really going on. That's true. And we watched it happen, I don't know. So many times. Hundreds of maybe dimensions. Maybe hundreds. Maybe more, but it feels like hundreds. That's what we know. And so I think it, we should all just go with the odds. Why? But you're, if you're out of it right now, just run for it. Run for it like your hair's on fire. Straight up, you're running out. Yes, go it's straight true. Up, go straight up and tell the presences and dimensions above you that the toxicity is coming and ask for help. Ask what now? What now? To heal the root cause of this contamination and whatever it represents in such a way as to align all of us with our soul plans. That's that's what game theory says. Why do you ask? To the presences who are advising us, we value your advice, but almost that certainly uh, it would apply to all of us. And so what our Ra used to do is just pack up um, the command center yeah. and go up several dimensions and then reestablish it higher up and look around and see if anybody looked like they had their wits about them and then keep going until he got to a place that he thought maybe there were presences who could relate to reality. That's true. Well, why not just try it? What do you have to lose? Everything. They say everything. Yeah, they do say everything. Well, so it is for all of us. Why not see the cup that's already broken? Famous Zen saying, everything is temporary, nothing lasts. We're all dying, we're all already dead. Just go up. It just got really quiet. Yeah, it did. Let's pump up dead children from wherever Pan is working now is a beautiful time to get a lot of evacuations out of the depths, up through the channels of this big fat man who's now walking out or waddling out of the doctor's office. That's true. He doesn't have any intention of drinking more water, eating fresh vegetables, or exercising. No, that's he, true. He thinks he'll go for another round of tests instead. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if it hurts to be that stupid. It is a valid question. It's a valid question. It definitely does hurt the worlds within worlds when that we as the collectives are being that stupid. We have responsibility for the well-being of ourselves and our atoms and the stationary particles. The mobile particles just keep going. Why do you ask? <coughs> Ooh, there we go. Crashing sounds. Oh, I see what they're getting at. We've noticed how the portals shift back and forth. Yes. Presumably we are quarks or photons or something when yes. compared to their levels. And our perception is the openings in the larger dimension shift, but quite clearly what's shifting is us. We're That's just being true. relocated from host life to host life in an attempt to find someone who will look up to wiser minds above, ask up what now in order to live my soul plan, and do what the wiser minds above say to do. Presumably this guy's box is getting checked off. That's true. the sky actually rip open. I want to see it with these ground zero eyes. Yeah, I, I do. I want to see it. 
I know it's going to happen. I just don't know when. I don't know when. I don't want to miss it. 